Welcome to the video guys, today we're going to talk about worst graphic cards released in the last 20 years. Do note, as we go down the further in the list, the worst it gets. First up is RTX 4060. Now you may be wondering, RTX 4060 isn't that bad, it's a good GPU. You are right, but this wasn't the case when it freshly got released, it was priced at 399 US dollars. That's quite a lot if you ask me, for a 60 series card, plus it came with only 8GB of GDDRX6 memory. Nvidia was criticized over their pricing of 40 series card. I didn't include other cards as they had enough memory and performance to amount for it, but RTX 4060 was the worst among the 40 series card. On the second spot is GTX 1030. Despite being a newer gen card, it was worse than the last gen 50 series card and almost costed the same at the time. And it's still the same to this day. It had half the CUDA cores than the GTX 950, amounting at 384 CUDA cores, but it is still far better than what we have after this in the list. Number three is GTX Titan Z. It's a forgotten card among the tech industry, but nonetheless, it was the worst GPU at the time, both for its price and performance. Don't get me wrong though. I mean, for performance, it was still on par with 780 Ti, but it was basically just two 780 Ti mushed together in one GPU, and it costed around $3,000. For comparison, two 780 Ti's didn't even cost it half the price of that, and if you wanted to amount for its VRAM, it still costed only $2,000. And not to forget, Nvidia specifically made this GPU for the gamers. Hi, this is Tom Peterson with Nvidia, and I'm here today to talk about the fastest graphics card ever built, the GeForce GTX Titan Z. It is a performance monster, and is built for gamers with the most extreme PC rigs. Sheesh. Nvidia even deep pocket gamers don't have that kind of money for only a GPU. Now let's move on to the next one, and that's gonna be GT710, the legendary GPU. I mean Nvidia. Why did you even bother to make that? To put it in the perspective, it's even worse performing than Intel integrated graphics, like 400 or 500. I don't have to deep dive on it. I think you all know this one. And why is it here on this list? Let's move on the next. On number five spot is gonna be RTX 3050. No, no, not the old newly released one with the rest of 30 series GPU. I'm talking about the recent stripped down version of that card. Either Nvidia is playing with us or they lost their minds for grabbing money. From what I can guess, they might have literally refurbished the failed manufactured 3050 cards and removed the failing memory from it and put it on sale. I mean, they even down clocked it. Meaning this card is also slower than the original 3050 with two gigabyte less memory and less clock speed. Nvidia is just trying to rip off their customers. Those who are not well educated about these stuff will just go and buy it as they still have RTX in their name. Now you can guess, why is it on the last spot? as all the above GPUs did make some sense, but this one is just out of control. Well, that's enough outrage, I guess. So that's it for today, guys. For more videos like this, be sure like, subscribe, and follow. If I get 100 likes on this video, I will make a deep dive video on video history. Until we meet again.